Hello everyone, this is my video to show my uh, Arduino project to mimic the Ambilight system uh, with some RGB LEDs. Um, down here is my Arduino. It's hooked up to the computer in the RGB LEDs which are taped behind my screen. The Arduino will be controlled over the serial bus um, by my program which I've written in .NET. You simply select the, the COM port you want, which is with the Arduino usually the highest number, and click connect. It will then yeah, reset the Arduino and uh, apply the, the white color which has been selected initially. This is the manual mode in which you can select any color you want. Click apply and it will apply the color immediately to the Arduino. You can select any color you want. Or you can write it to the APRO memory which um, which enables you to use the Arduino without a computer so if you plug it in it will display that color which you have written to the APRO memory the second mode is the screen mode which uh, is actually the, the Ambilight mode it samples the screen by taking uh, screenshots and, gen and calculates uh, the, the best average color I'll uh, give a small demo with a video on YouTube. Um, the colors might look a bit greenish, but that's because my wall beh behind my screen is green. So, I'm <laughs> Shame. You come to our country to murder us, yet we are the terrorists. Eighteen hours ago, I get a call from Homeland Security saying there's a Marine in detention I need to talk to. Gentlemen, as you know, we're dealing with insurgents crossing over from Iran. You want us to believe that there's a PLR threat and Solomon's at the head? You're the quick reaction force, gentlemen. I'm trusting you to handle it. The nuke is still out there. You can't just walk away from the threat. Let's go find our Marines. I said get down on the ground! You are guilty. I know how your fucking story is! So as you can see, it works pretty well. Um, I'm still uh, working on the algorithm um, to fix it a little, because sometimes when there's a, a lot of action, or, or a, lo a few uh, areas of red, it will it will too easily take those, um, take those small areas and use them and it generates sometimes the wrong color, but I'm still working on it, but it works very well for the most part. And then I have a third mode, which is actually a fade mode, it's more of a more of an addition. Uh, you select uh, a uh, start color and an ending color, and then you select um, how how much time between 1 and 30 seconds the, the fade should take. You click start and it will uh, slowly fade between the colors and it, f it fades in and it fades back so it, it's, a, it's an autonomous loop okay so I hope so I hope you've enjoyed uh, enjoyed the video um, I will be posting uh, updates regularly um, I hope you like it